Welcome to World of Concrete 2024. We're in the Milwaukee booth, and this is the new MX Fuel 70 kg Rammer. Milwaukee is expanding our compaction lineup. We launched a plate compactor last year, a rammer this year. This is a full size 70 kg rammer. This rammer hits harder and travels fastest, delivering the highest productivity and rammers in the market. On top of that, we've got no gas headaches, no choking, no priming, no pulling, push button startability, and greater control. All the controls are up on the user interface. Fast, slow, start, stop, and all of them can be accessed with your thumbs without letting go of the handlebar. In total, we get 25 continuous minutes of runtime, which is over a quarter mile of compaction on one single charge. How do we use it? So all you gotta do, on, off. It's in fast, you're the most productive. In slow, you're gonna get more spot compaction, greater control, and you just, yep, hit them with your thumbs. Hold this with one hand, that's crazy. You can hold it with one hand. That's oh, let go of it. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> you want to see something cool too? We also have tip protect. You ready? Oh, I don't want to mess up. You're fine. Automatically shuts off. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How do you untip the deck? Yep, so now you just recycle it. Yep, now it's ready to go. at the Milwaukee booth and here I have the brand new MX Lite. What makes this unique is this swivel head. All these beams shoot off in different directions. So the way it works is you lift that up, undo these like the typical rocket light and lift it up. Now the other thing that's unique about this is as you can see over here, it's pack out compatible. So all you do is lift this up Slide that out. Drop it in place. And now you're off to the job site. If only I could take this home, you know? <laughs> what you're looking at is the world's first construction and industrial battery powered submersible pump. This is the MX Fuel one horsepower two inch submersible pump. This pump doesn't require a generator. You can pump anywhere. On job sites, you can bring it out for electrical, mechanical boxes, puddle pumping. It's gonna be a great solution for those low volume uh, pumping scenarios. On top of that, this pump saves time and lasts longer with AutoSense. This pump has electronics. It can actually sense incoming flow. It can sense low water. It can sense when the water is back on to turn that pump on and off. On high, we're going to match the performance of existing one horsepower, two inch pumps in the market, about 90 gallons a minute flow rate or 60 feet head height. On low, we tune that down to extend run times, over two hours of run time on the low mode, over 5,000 gallons pumped. And what Matt's holding on to here is the remote. So what's neat about this product is it's actually going to give the user feedback of the operating status. It's going to notify you when there's low battery. It's going to notify you when there's low water. Uh, and what operating mode it's in. You can also turn the pump on and off remotely. And let's do that right now. So all you do is press this button, pan over to there, and then you press it again, and you'll see the water come back down. So this is our M18 fuel pack out dust extractor, going to be shipping in Q4 of 2024. 
This is going to have dual automatic filter cleaning to maintain higher sustained suction when you're in the application. It's going to be versatile power for all day productivity, working on both batteries and it's going to have the ability to work on a cord as well too. The last thing it's going to be connected to backlink wireless dust control. This allows us to turn on the product remotely at the end of the hose and in the future connect to tools. So again, shipping out in Q4 of 2024. So I'm here with Kelly, the product manager for the new roll-on coming out this year. We've got the roll-on here, 7,200 watt, 3,600 watt continuous. You're going to get up to 220 amp tools, fully rechargeable internally, uh, zero to 25% in just over 30 minutes, zero to 100% in three hours. And you're going to be able to keep this up with all the uh, job site usage you have, IP54 rated, highly durable, as well as pack out compatible. We're at the Hilti booth here at Worla Concrete and we want to show you guys our new battery operating saws. We have two saws. We have the 622, which is top handle, 12 inch blade, which has a four and three quarter uh, cutting depth, as well as our rear handle, 722, 12 inch blade, uh, four and three quarters cutting depth as well. The battery saws have a less than 10 second uh, stop whenever you stop pressing the trigger and they are um, safe to use with our water pump DWP 1522. Matt is gonna demo how to cut concrete with a rebar embedded in it. Matt if you want to take it away. It's so smooth you barely can see it, but you can see the rebar right there that it cut through just like butter. We're at World of Concrete 2024 at the Hilti booth, and I'm excited to talk about our SC6WP, which is our plunge saw, six and a half inch blade encased here in the tool. The reason we're excited about it is because it's going to help customers with their precision wood cutting. Right now you can see I have a 55 inch track. Of course the tool is going to be able to work on all major brands. This track can be expanded as you have a connection rod that will connect here to make it longer if you need to. Some exciting features about this tool is that it's incredibly good at dust management. When you connect it to the hose, it connects almost all of the dust. You can definitely see that when you use it. We have a depth gauge here on the, on the front of the tool, both in millimeters and inches, if that's what you need to make sure you get the perfect depth of cut. The bevel is really convenient as well because no matter if you're at a 90 or you bevel it, the cutting line is identical, meaning that you only have to marry this tool to a track one time, regardless of how you're going to cut on it. And you can see it slides very easily on the track for your, for your needs, and changing the blade is as simple as popping up your safety, plunging the saw, and popping this up to change the blade. Really easy to use, really convenient. We're at World of Concrete 2024. I'm at the Hilti booth with the SC30 rear handle saw. I'm going to give this a go. So we're here at the Neuron Wall at the Hilti booth at World of Concrete, 50th anniversary. Behind me you see a little over 80 tools that we currently have on the platform. To my right and to my left are tools that we are launching in Q1 and Q2 of this year. At the end of 2024 we're going to have over 100 tools and 2025 well beyond that. We're continually investing into the platform. We're still going to carry our gas tools. We're still going to carry our corded tools for that serial use applications. But as far as everyday hand tools all the way up to our heavier use demolition and drilling tools, uh, we are expanding into Neuron. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. So the showstopper here at this station is going to be the XOT. This is fantastic for wall breaking applications, really taking the user load off, keep our customers safe, keep them productive and have them have enough energy uh, and enough wellness to go home and play with their kids at night after a long day of breaking. We do have our AT module for automated torquing and some of our impact wrenches. 
our CX5 bits, everything highlighted in red are things we've made changes uh, to our TESDS plus bits. We have our SIW6AT, which is compatible with the AT module, SIW10 for non-torque or non-spec torquing. Then we have the SF10W, this is the Cadillac for wood drilling. We also have some ferro scan equipment as well as a thermal imaging and thermal sensor and the TE5022 that will be on our Neuron platform. And then a whole new line of hole saw bits that come with the kit box and come with everything that is ready for your drilling applications. So we've seen everything that we have on the Neuron wall that is currently launched and we looked at the podium over there for everything that's gonna be available in Q1. Over here to my left, this is everything that's coming out in Q2 and beyond, with the exception of the TE2000 breaker. This is already launched. This is a fantastic cordless tool. I'll start here with a personal fan that is going to be launching, in addition to our 10,000 PSI hydraulic pump for our power and utility customers. We, you've seen our, our SC6WP plunge saw that can also be operated on a track, in addition to our PM50 measuring tool that is on the Neuron platform our CU4 charging adapter that can charge phone or tablet on any Neuron battery. And we also have our SB6S single trigger wide mouth bandsaw configuration. And the tried, the pride, pride and joy of Hilti right now is the miter saw on the stand, also powered by Neuron batteries. I'm gonna show you some really cool features about this 12 inch compound miter saw. So number one is it's variable speed. So up here, if you're cutting aluminum, you can dial this down right up top here. Over here on the side, which I really like, this is how you do the dual bevel. You just lift this up, go both ways, and then you lock it in place down like that. Over here on the side, we have the lock for the slide. And to lock the blade. Let's see it in action. Available in August 2024. Here in front of me, you got the NRC622. This is a Neuron flush cut rebar cutter. The same blade that is in our structural steel blades. This is a low to no spark flush cut steel cutter. So Matt, you go ahead and give it a go. Low to no spark cold cut where you can then get onto your material and start working and not have to worry about burns, not have to worry about fire watch. Um, and it's a tool that's every, every concrete guy is gonna want in their crib. That's awesome, and also the flush. And it's flush. Fourth, the Makita Boo trying out their brand new 21 degree framing nailer. Coming out the fall 2024. We're going to try out the competitors and the new rough-in hole saw by Diablo. So what we're going to do is put 10-pound weights on and see which one goes first. Three, two, one. And as you can see, there is no comparison. <laughs> That's crazy. So there's a piece of wood in there right now, yeah. right? So you would pull back on that, you pull that out, and you pop it like that. That's awesome. Pretty Normally you're getting right. a screwdriver trying to jam it all out. Exactly. We're gonna be cutting quarter inch wall, two and a half inch square tube, 836 steel. We're gonna show how effectively you can cut it with our 14 inch Surmet circular saw blade. That's awesome, ain't it? That's wild. 